People and entire communities say they are being tormented by a strange, incessant humming sound. But is this notorious hum coming from outside the house or inside the head? They're hearing it in Rochester, New York. I want to locate it to stop it. They're hearing it in Bristol, England. And in Connecticut, Steve Cole Hayes is even hearing it in his bedroom. It's a, a droning sound, and it's a lot worse at night. It's impossible to live with it. Listen closely. Around the world, people are reporting a low, incessant, highly disturbing hum. Steve says he's been hearing it since 2009. And as you can see on this website dedicated to hum reports, he's one of thousands. It's a developing map that, that people self-populate, and it's quite a large community. The hum is a worldwide phenomenon of this strange, mysterious sound. Journalist MJ Benaya says the mystery is complicated because the hum is not always the same. The hum changes. It's not one unified sound across the planet or, or in different areas. That's led to a wide range of theories. Benaya's who specializes in the unexplained, says many involve a vast system of secret tunnels. One pretty wild internet conspiracy theory is that there exists a breakaway civilization, a group of humans who are much more advanced than we are digging under the Earth so that they can build cities under the Earth's surface. Others believe the U.S. government is building a network of tunnels using shuttered Walmarts as entry points and supply stations. The U.S. government digging underground tunnels would most likely have to do with stockpiling weapons or supplies, nuclear bombs. Here's another weird thing about the hum. Only certain people hear it. We've enhanced the best recording we have so you can hear it come through your screen. but we've got questions about its source and its victims. We turn for answers about strange sounds to our audio expert, Dr. Ben Gottesman. The hum is an amazing sonic mystery. Gottesman is interested in a theory proposed by hum sufferer Steve Colhays. A mechanical engineer, he traces the hum to natural gas pipelines. This is a map that I prepared to find a correlation to pipeline location and hum reports. And within 95% accuracy, this does such a thing. But other people in this field will say there have been occurrences far from gas plants. So we have Gottesman do a spectrogram of our best hum sound, the one out of Rochester, to see if he could place it. it seems like the hum is distinctly different from traffic. The continuous nature of the sound also rules out weather events, which clearly begin and end. As for the tunnel theory? Most of these seismic vibrations within the Earth are much lower frequency than what humans can detect. If you're digging a tunnel underground, I'd be hard pressed that humans can hear it at all. Gottesman compares the Rochester hum to several possible matches with no luck until he finds this. An air vent. Compare that to the enhanced hum. It's curious to me that it's really a similar frequency to this ventilation fan. That might explain this hum, but Ben says it doesn't explain all hums or why only some people hear them. The answer, he says, is that some people might have a kind of superhuman hearing that makes the modern world extra noisy. Hyperacusis? is basically an extreme sensitivity to certain frequencies, certain noises. There could be people within a population that, for sounds people could care less about, for them it causes extreme annoyance or pain. So it seems that the source of the hum can be anything from a gas pipeline to an air vent. But what makes it so disturbing to some hum sufferers? Our verdict? that rare condition called hyperacusis, a kind of super hearing. 